Silver Hawaii! A fiery horse with a speed of light. A cloud of dust to the hearty Hayo Silver. The Lone Ranger. And even south into the mountains of old Mexico, the Lone Ranger led the fight for justice in the early West. His strength and courage were always at the service of right against might. And it was he, more than any other man, who brought law and order to the lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading south for the Rio Grande! Martha Titus watched two men riding up the trail to the ranch house. And when they were close enough for her to make out their faces, she called to her husband. Jim. Jim, come here. Evan Case is on his way here. Evan Case, huh? See? Sure enough. And he's brung the sheriff with him. That makes his visit here official, Marthy. Well, we ain't no right to look for anything different. Clutching, grasping old skin feet. I know, honey, but look, just... Look, the... Evan has the mortgage in his hand. Afraid he'd lose it from his pocket, I expect. Well, let him in. Howdy, Sheriff. Yeah, hello, Jim. I, uh, well, if I'd known I'd have to come here like this, I wouldn't have been so glad to get the job of Sheriff. Never mind the sentiment. You're here on official business, Sheriff. Howdy, ma'am. Will you sit? Uh, thank you kindly. Uh, don't feel like sitting down. I expect that's the mortgage you got there. It is? <laughs> you got the cash to pay it off? You don't earn well, I ain't. Say what you got to say and get off in my land. This ain't your land. You pay up or I'll take it over. This place is mine until tomorrow. And I ain't aiming to have it cluttered up with any money-grabbing weasel. Now, Paul. Hey, your talk ain't touching me. I'm here to tell you that if and you ain't got the money, I'll take cattle. If and you ain't got the cattle to pay off, I want you out of here by tomorrow noon. That's the law, and the sheriff's my witness. Well, uh, Case, you might give them a little more time so they could get out proper. The law's the law. This land's mine tomorrow. You got to back me up. I'd like to back you right into a kicking horse. Jim and Martha Titus was here before anyone else. Why, our town's named after them, Titus City. That don't mean a thing. They ain't got the cash nor the cattle to pay me off. And why ain't we? Because them doggone rustlers stole the cattle we was going to pay you with. Cleaned out a herd, locked, buck, and sterile. And got him across the Rio Grande. Yeah, that ain't my doing. I ain't so sure about that. What's that? What's that? You want this land real bad. Titus, are you calling me crooked? I ain't said you stole cattle. But by thunder, you're crooked as a ram's horn. 
If I only had proof of what I suspect, I'd take the law into my own hands. Careful, yes, Paul. You can't prove nothing. I sure it worked out just right for you, Case. Them rustlers come just when we had the cattle ready for you. Why, you all... Case! You come here for business. That's taken care of. Let's get going. I'll be back tomorrow noon, and I don't want to find you here. Come on. We'll be gone. Marcy, I get so cussed mad when I think of what that fella's doing. I know doggone well he fixed it with the rustlers to steal our cattle. Well, maybe he is a crook, Paul. But there ain't nothing we can do about it except move out. Yeah. Been here a mighty long time, ain't we? Seems sort of different living somewhere else. There's the rocking chair that brung from the east when we come here 40 years ago. And the table you made me our first wedding anniversary. Mo, you was the prettiest girl that ever read a prairie schooner. We've been happy living here. Mighty happy. Well, it's, it's all my fault, Marcia. Now, Jim, you couldn't help nothing. If I was the kind of husband you should have, we wouldn't have to leave her home. That ain't no way to talk. We'll find a new place and start over again. We ain't so young, Marcia. Jim, you're the youngest man of your years I ever seen. We'll swing it together. You got the old prairie schooner all cleaned out? Yep, still stout and strong and ready to carry us again. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Let's start loading it up. Uh, sure, Marcy. No use to sit around moaning. We ain't licked. Oh, gosh, Marcy. When you talk like that, I feel we ain't gonna be licked. You tote the stuff out, and I'll pack it in the wagon. We'll likely have to leave some of our things. Can't lug more than the horses can pull. And fetch what barrels and boxes you can find, and we'll get started. Hello. Look what's going on over there. Ah, that Jim Titus ranch. Yes, but what's Jim doing? Looks as if he's getting ready to move. Come on. Jim Titus was one of the original settlers out here. Why in the world would he be packing a wagon? Maybe him fell out. We'll soon know. Hi there, Jim Titus. Howdy, stranger. Why, great Scott. More. Mark, come here quick. It's a lone ranger. Well, bless my soul. It's been a long time since we've seen you, son. <coughs> now, why are you loading up? You aren't leaving your ranch. Well, uh, well, I'll tell you. This here section is getting mighty crowded, and we, uh, we was thinking that farther west they, there'd be room for us to breathe. Come, Jim. You don't need more room. What's wrong? Pa, they ain't no use trying to cover up. You're leaving your ranch. Have you sold out? Or lost out. The ranch is leaving us. Eben Case holds our mortgage. Uh, Rustlers took all our stock, says we can't pay him. He's foreclosing tomorrow. He, we don't mind much. Maybe it'll be better in the long run. It'll be sort of nice, moving on again after all this time. Like starting life over again. Eben Case, huh? Yep. Rustlers. Paul thinks that Mr. Case had our cattle stolen so he could take our ranch. I knew he did it. If I could just prove something. I see. Yep. Come on, Tonto. Why, son, you and your ancient friend ain't leaving before you got some victuals in you. We ain't so poor, we can't feed you. You just take a minute. Tonto and I will come back later. I just thought of something. I want to talk to Eben Case. Lone Ranger and Tonto headed for town in Eben Case's office. They found it empty and made a careful examination of the room. But when they stepped into the street once more, the sheriff was waiting for them with a heavy six-gun drawn. All right, both of you. Just get your hands up and stand still. You're the sheriff around here? That's what I am. And I'm wondering just what you was doing in Case's office. We went to have a talk with him. I seen you go in. You spent a plenty of time there for calling to talk to a man that wasn't on hand. Well, you know we didn't steal anything. How do I? Because you must have watched us if you saw us go in. You're masked, though. Yes, I'm masked. Sheriff, you know Jim Titus quite well, don't you? Know him? Well, I should smile. He'll tell you who I am. I left him a little while ago. So did I. He told me you'd been there. You went with Case to warn Jim about the foreclosure. Uh, You're a friend of Jim's? Yes, when I saw him packing up to move out of this part of the country, I asked him why. He told me. He would have been able to pay off the mortgage if his cattle hadn't been stolen. Yeah, there was rotten luck for Jim. 
Good fella. He's been around here for a mighty long time. You any idea who might have stolen his cattle? Well, no. You think Evan Case had it done? I do know thinking on things I can't prove. Jim Titus thinks so. Well, there's been bad blood between Jim Titus and Evan Case for a good many years. It riled Jim something fierce when he had to go to Case to borrow cash. Sheriff, do you know Al Bristol? Well, I've heard of him. Why? And what do you know about him? Now, see here, I don't see why I should tell a mass man all I know. I'm a friend of Jim's, you know. Oh, yeah. But still, I... Isn't Al Bristol a pretty shady character? Oh, that's what I heard. Did you know that he had dealings with Evan Case? Al Bristol did? You look on Evan's desk, you'll find a message there. It's signed Al Bristol. Jump in the sassafras. Why, Bristol's been jailed for cow stealing. Well, that's what I've heard about him. Folks have suspected that he went back to the same thing when he got out in the jail. He could run his critters over the border and sell them as free and easy as he pleased. There might be something true in what Jim Titus suspects. Ah, oh, but shucks, what good of suspecting? If the cattle is across the border, there wouldn't be no way to prove anything. Case would deny knowing anything about it, and Bristol, even if we could get him, would deny having a hand in the cattle stealing. I know, but I... Hold on. Someone riding hard. Yeah, that's one of my deputies. Hey, Sam, what's the matter? That ain't no way to push a horse. Sheriff, come past. It's murder. What's that? Who's dead? Who done it? It's out to the Titus Ranch. By Ginger, I always said that Jim would get violent someday, and now he's gone and done it. Jim, Titus! You must be local. I ain't local. Jim Titus has killed Evan Case. I don't believe it. It's the truth. I hated to think it myself. Did Jim say he done it? Sure not. He wouldn't admit it. If he'd done that, he'd hang right off the bat. He denies knowing anything about the shooting. But the facts are there, and you can see them for yourself. Case is dead, and Titus was beside the body when I found him. Dead right it all. Hang it all. You know the sort of things Jim was all a saying. Yeah, I know. I heard him just an hour ago. Proof I'd take the law into my own hands. Ah, uh, Jim shouldn't have done it. No matter how he felt, he'll have to hang for it. I'll still Hey! Away. Hold on! Dad read it, that masked man's got away. Who's he? Oh, I don't know. He's a friend of Jim's. Well, come on. I'll go see Jim Titus. didn't do it, Sheriff. I swear to heaven I didn't do it. Jim, they ain't no use, that's all. The evidence is all there for a jury to see. But Jim was here with me, Sheriff. We were packing our things in the wagon. You left when Evan Case did. Uh, seems like he must have come back, though. I heard the shot the same time Jim did. Jim went out to the stable to see what was, and he didn't come back for a long time. I got there, Sheriff, and there was Evan stretched out on the floor. He wasn't dead yet. He tried to tell me it was some critter he had a row with. Who? He kept muttering... All. That's as much as it'd stay. All? Sounded like that. Could it have been Al? Well, it, it might have been. Well, it don't matter anyhow. The fact stands. Sam, did you find any tracks around there? No, oh, there's a mess of tracks. But I couldn't make out anything definite. You've got to believe me, Sheriff. I didn't shoot him. I it didn't. It did. Jim. It's the law. You'll have to go to the jail and wait for a trial. Then it'll be up to you to convince a jury of the truth in what you say. Oh, Jim. Jim, it seems there's no end to the trouble. Hey, look back there. Huh? There's them two, the masked man and the redskin. See them? Around the stable. Jim, listen to me. Do you know that man? He's come back. Martha, he's looking around there. Who is he? Sheriff, he's my friend. They call him the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Well, I'll be hogtied. What's he doing there? Seems to be studying the lay of things. Sheriff, I told you the truth. I ain't afraid. But I want to know... I told the truth, and the Lone Ranger's here to see things. Come on. Let's go to your jail. The truth will be proved now that the Lone Ranger's on my side. Come on, Get up, now. Silver, Look at him go. Look at him travel. Like a bloodhound that's on the trail. There's my friend, Marthy. Our friend. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto headed south from the Tattis Branch in the direction of the Rio Grande. Easy, Silver. All right, Tonto? Uh-huh. Me all right. There they forded the river and rode toward a camp on the Mexican bank. There's the camp ahead, Tonto. That's right. The marks you found were true, Tonto. Al Bristol headed for the border. That's right. He must have been seen by some of the Mexican soldiers. If he comes over here as often as we think, he'll be quite well known. Ah. Uh-huh. Rain up. Well, I know you're captain. Will you take this to Captain Sancho? Uh, you wear the mask. Captain Sancho knows that. Take this to him. A bullet? A silver bullet. But, senor, el capitán... There he is. No Captain Sancho. Santa Maria, I see the horse. <laughs> I think maybe a friend is gone. <laughs> oh, you are a good friend of Black Caballero. You are a good friend from mine, eh? It's good to meet again, Captain. <laughs> uh, but now, amigo, we must go where there is rest and shade and refreshment. We have siesta, eh? Another time. <laughs> I've crossed the border to find you in the hope that you can help me with some information. Oh, see? Si? Have you had trouble with cattle thieves from Texas? Ah, uh, senor, there are so many of them. I have trouble all the time. You know about them, then? Uh, see, si, amigo, we try for to find them, we try for to catch them in the act, but it's so hard. The border is so long, and our army has few men. I know. Unless you can catch them in the act of smuggling cattle across the border... There's little you can do. They sell the cattle here in Mexico. They sell so low in price. Our own rancheros are all the time in rage. Captain, do you think some of your men could tell me if any steers and cows have been sold around here that carry the lazy tea brand? Mm, I will ask my men. Perhaps mañana I will find time to ask. Tomorrow? But... That won't do, Captain Sancho. I must know as soon as I can. Mm, today. It will be hard to find more today. Now, perhaps my Lazy Liana, we... is the brand. I want to know if any cattle with that brand were sold. And who sold it? There's a man named Al Bristol. What was our name? Bristol. Al Bristol. But, amigo, I know him. Well, this is better luck than I dared hope for. You know him. Si, sí, si. Sí. Senor, he did sell lazy tea cattle. You are sure? I am sure. That cattle was stolen. Ah, but, amigo, much as you know this, what can we do? But what one hombre does in Texas, we cannot punish. He must break the law in Mexico before we can punish. Do you know where Bristol can be found? Si, sí, amigo. He is right now in Los Santos. Well, that's not far from here. But a short time ago, he was seen riding there. My men report the news to me. Good. Tato, I want you to go back and carry word to the sheriff in Texas. Uh uh-huh. Me to it. But, amigo, unless this hombre go back to Texas, there is nothing can be done to them. I know it. And he will not go back if he knows he is wanted by the lawmen in Texas. We'll see about that, Captain Sancho. I'm going to count on you to help me. The Lone Ranger rode on to the town. He inquired for Al Bristol and was directed to the plaza. That is him. Very well. Thanks. Now I'll go on alone. The Lone Ranger had his face disguised, but he was unmasked. As he approached Al Bristol, he said, I think you're the man I'm looking for, eh? What are you talking about? Aren't you working for the rebel army? Me? No. You're not? You mean to say that you aren't in with the revolutionists? That's what I said. I don't know nothing about them. I know. You want me to explain who I am before you tip your hand. That's it, huh? Well, right now, you should have a pocket full of cash. Expense money. You'll have to be very careful. Very careful. The soldiers are all... Now, see here. They spotted me. The soldiers. I don't know nothing about Quiet. them. I'm uh, I know you're fighting them. Don't go for a gun. Oh, no, at last we have you. Let go on me. What's the matter with you crazy coyotes? Let go on me. Who are they freezing with them? Take them away. There's no use fighting them. They'll shoot us on the spot. I ain't done nothing. I don't know this, hombre. Let go. I tell you, I don't know what you're Away with them. Take them away. The if they try for to make escape, shoot to kill. <laughs> Well, if this ain't a fine kettle of fish, you got me into this. Me, here to rot in a Mexican lockup. They know what's ahead for us, too. There won't be any trial. What's to happen? Don't you know what happens to revolutionists here? You mean? The firing squad. But hang it all, I ain't no revolutionist. I'm from Texas. A lot of Texans have come over here to pick up easy cash. Yeah, but dog, Whether you are a revolutionist or not doesn't matter, you see. You might just as well be. As a matter of fact, if you were the man I thought you were... We wouldn't have to worry about any firing squad. Why's that? Maybe you can find the man you wanted. Did he look like me? The man I've been looking for was a dead ringer for you. Well, uh, what could he have done? 
He was supposed to have a pocket full of cash. Uh-huh. And if he had? He could have bought his way out of this jail. I see. How oh, much cash? More than you'd be likely to have if you're the wrong man. If uh, I had the cash, we could uh, get away, is that it? I think there's a chance for that. And we get shot if we don't get out. That's right. Maybe I have got the cash. You have? Suppose we get out of this jail, then what do we do? We wouldn't be safe around this country. We might make the border. We could cross the river, we'd be all right. Yeah, yeah, sure. That is, unless you're afraid to enter Texas. Me? Well, shucks, why should I be? Now that you got me into this sort of a mess, I'll be doggone glad to get back to Texas. I think we could get as far as my horse. We could both ride to the river where a friend of mine is to be waiting with an extra horse. Reckon I'd have to leave my critter here, huh? The extra horse is for the man I was supposed to meet here. Now, you'll have to make believe you're that man. I savvy. Otherwise, my friend might not take you into Texas. I'll make believe whatever you say. Just get me out of this hoose, girl. That's all I'm asking. we will have to see how much cash you have. Then see if it'll interest the guard. I got a plenty. The guard's coming now. I'll see if he'll talk to us. Get your cash out and flash it for him. The rule of cash I got's big enough to choke a cow. Well, I should say it is. Guard. Si? Guard, we want to talk to you. Si, senor. I opened the door. The fool's coming right in. You wish to speak? Never mind now. What is it? Don't make a sound. Take his gun. I got it. I'll put a gag on him. Let me slug him so he won't get away and raise an alarm before we start it. It isn't necessary. The open gag will keep him quiet. That'll do. Come on now. That was a cinch, shucks. We didn't need the cash at all. This way. I'll get our guns. I know where they are. Swell. Hey, what is it? Oh! Uh, that does it. Here, this is your gun. You sure handle things slick, mister. This way now. Out the rear door. Stop them. Stop them. They made the escape. Here's the door. I'm in, boss. Out with you. My horse is the white one right over there. I see it. Stop what I'm doing. Don't turn your head. You'll waste time. They haven't even unsaddled my horse. Come on. Behind me. I'm with you. Get going. Come on, boss. Soldiers grinned at Captain Sancho as the Lone Ranger and Bristol rode off in the direction of the Rio Grande. At the river, Tonto was waiting with an extra horse. The outlaw mounted, and then the three men forded the shallow stream. When they reached the other side. Hold oh, there. We rain up here for a minute. Yeah, for what? There are a few things we want to straighten out. In the first place, what's your name? Me? I'm Al Bristol. Why? You any friends around here who can prove that? Huh? Well, sure not. My pards crossed into Mexico when I did. They're still there. Me got fire over yonder. You go. Yes. Leave the horses. There's a fire beyond that pile of rocks, Bristol. We'll stop there for a few minutes. I don't savvy. You will. In the first place, Bristol, you might have to prove who you are. Huh? You're in Texas now, you know. Sure I am. What's about it? You said you were from Texas, didn't you? Sure. Odd, then, that all the men who might identify you are in Mexico. Well, uh... Stop right here. I want to see your face, and the fire gives good light. Just what's the matter with you, anyhow? I told you that I was looking for someone in particular. Sure. Said you was waiting for a man who was a sort of a rebel or something. I weren't that man, but I might as well have been. I got jugged anyhow. Who told you what we had in store for you? Huh? Well, what's that? Someone tipped you off. Isn't that true? See here, stranger, I don't savvy. The man I was supposed to meet in Mexico had been stepping too far out of line. He was marked. Oh, marked? It was decided that he'd better be put where he couldn't do any more damage around people who worked with him. I was to meet that man. He wasn't supposed to know why he was being met. Now, look, mister, me and you... When you said you had some cash in your pocket, I thought you were the man I wanted. I never worked with a revolutionist. Honest, I didn't. You weren't going to admit having all that money until you saw that you'd face a firing squad if you remained in jail. Isn't that true? Uh, Yeah. There was no use showing my bankroll. Now I'm sure you're the man I was supposed to meet. No, you got me all wrong, mister. What about his punishment? Uh, Me fix him. Me got Brandon Iron in fire. Get it red hot. Plenty soon. You ain't gonna brand me. You can't do that. Why not? But it ain't human. It ain't right. I ain't done nothing to you. Shut up and hand over your gun. No, no, no. Now, wait. Mine, I'll take them myself. There. Iron red hot soon now. No, no, no. I ain't a rebel. I ain't working with no rebel army. I swear I ain't. And where did all that cash come oh, from? I, I earned it. Earned, of course. You earned it by doing just what I said. No, I didn't earn it by working with a revolutionist. Honest, I didn't. Then how did you earn it? Well, I, I sold cattle. Whose cattle? My own. What brand? Well, uh, Come on. You told me your name was Al Bristol. What brand is registered in your name? Well, there, there, there ain't no brand in my Speak name. Speak up, then. You said you got all that money selling cattle. Whose cattle did you sell if not your own? Oh, hang it all. You I... see? You're not telling the truth. 
How's that brand coming? We'll make this man tell who tipped him off about what was coming to him. No one did, I tell you. Hang it all. No I... use, Bristol. You're just wasting your breath with your denial. Now, look here. Well? I can tell you where I got that cash from. Trouble is, you might be a lawman. Me? A lawman? What do you think? Well, what if I do tell you where the cash come from and it ain't honest cash? It's up to the sheriff to worry about stolen money. Well, I, I was selling stolen cattle south of the border. Stolen cattle, huh? Yeah. Who's stolen cattle? Well, I, I worked for a man, a man in town north of here. Oh, did you? What was his name? Uh, hey, now. Come on, let's have the truth. Eben Case. Dog Eben gun. Case. You'll have to prove that. Well, how can it I? It just I... happens, Bristol, that there is a way that you can prove it. Eben Case was murdered. Yeah? If you're the man who did that, I'll believe your story about getting that cash by selling stolen cattle. And you can prove that you're the one who did it. I happen to know that the horse the killer rode had one lame leg. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Which leg was it? It was a right foreleg. One question further. Where did you kill him? At the Titus place. Titus will get the blame for it. That's why I've done it there. I figured there was no sense splitting the cash with Evan Case, so I sent word to him to meet me near the Titus place. I got him to go into Titus's stable and done the job there. Well, that ought to show you that I'm telling the truth. I ain't no revolutionary. You got the wrong man, mister. No, Bristol, I still think we have the right man. But you... But as I said, the sheriff will take care of the law. You're a doggone right, I will. What's this mean? It means we got you, Bristol. Got you cold. And we'll take charge of him now, stranger. Very well. What's this, anyway? What sort of a frame-up is this? You told me you was a soldier of fortune, that you was... You was working for the revolution. I never you... told you that, Bristol. You just assumed that. I said all along that I went to Mexico to find a man with a pocket full of cash. Well... That's why I went there. And you're the man I found. I was tricked. I figured... You said enough. Take him, deputy. Now go let Jim out in the jail. <laughs> This'll be his cash. <laughs> By thunder, all at once, Jim gets the cash, pays off the mortgage, saves his house, stops moving away, and goes free on a murder charge. All to once, a killer captured and the cattle rustling stopped. <laughs> Take a look at the man that done it. There he is. The Lone Ranger! Hail Silver Hawaii! Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>